Growing up in Southern California, right outside of Orange County, I spent all my summers on the beach, wasting days on the sand, exploring the tide pools, or simply just admiring the big, beautiful ocean. I've always had a love for the ocean and miss being so close to some of the most beautiful beaches in California. Since moving up to Chico and involving myself more in the agricultural industry, I have become more familiar with the threats that commercial farming poses on our environment, including our ocean. The ocean is home to over 1 million species that come together to form their own balanced ecosystem. Researchers have long suspected that fertilizer runoff from big farms can trigger sudden explosions of marine algae capable of disrupting ocean ecosystems and even producing dead zones in the sea. California is the nation's top agricultural state and has been for more than 50 years. Agriculture in California generates approximately $37.5 billion a year and grows nearly half of the nation's fruits, vegetables, and nuts. More than 43% of the land in California is used for food production. The use of pesticides and fertilizers and the specialization and concentration of a crop and livestock productions has had growing impacts on water quality. Nitrates, phosphorus, and pesticides are the main water pollutants that leach into our water system through runoff. A map has been developed showing the special regions in the world where nitrogen is low relative to the other nutrients that phytoplankton need to grow, and the Gulf of California is one of those regions. Biological productivity in most of the world's oceans is controlled by the supply of nutrients to the surface water. The Gulf of California contains some of the highest nutrient concentrations in the oceans and sustains highly elevated rates of biological productivity. In the Gulf, wind-driven upwellings regularly bring nitrogen and other nutrients from the seafloor to the surface, which stimulate rapid reproduction of microscopic algae phytoplankton. These algae blooms are natural events that benefit life in the Gulf by generating tons of phytoplankton, which are a major food source for larger organisms. But some of the phytoplankton species produce harmful blooms, known as red or brown tides, which release toxins in the water that can poison fish. Excessively large blooms can also overwhelm a marine ecosystem by depleting the oxygen in the water. Scientists have suspected that many harmful blooms are artificially fueled by fertilizer runoff from farms, which dump tons of excess nitrogen into rivers that flow into the ocean. Agricultural runoff is one of today's biggest environmental threats. A 2000 study by the US EPA found that agriculture was responsible for nearly half of the impairment to rivers, far more than other sources including urban runoff and storm sewers. Government action has taken place in this growing issue. In fact, there are many government programs available to help farmers and ranchers design and pay for management approaches to prevent and control pollution. For example, over 40% of the grants in Section 319 of the Clean Water Act have been used to control pollution from working farms and ranches. Also, many programs funded by the U.S. Department of Agriculture and by the states provide cost share, technical assistance, and economic incentives to implement pollution management practices. While some pollution management practices are quite expensive, there are a number of other things growers can do to minimize nutrient loss and runoff. Things like implementing a no-till strategy and switching to cover crops, maintaining buffer strips between fields and streams, applying as much fertilizer in the post-emergence phase as possible, injecting fertilizer instead of spreading it, incorporating GPS tools on tractors to avoid over-application, and always soil test before making any decisions regarding fertilizer application. Commercial farming is something that will always control the agricultural industry. But where do we draw the line when it comes to protecting our environment? It is up to farmers to become knowledgeable of ways to clean up after their own waste. I would hate to see the oceans that I love and know become completely polluted.